Hey everyone, it's been a very long time since I have done a live because I've been away on holidays and then we have been very busy since we came back. So I am extra especially excited to be able to actually do this live with you because it just feels like it's been an eternity. And I've got some very exciting new patterns to share with you. So I hope you're all excited to, uh, to be able to spy. You might spy a few of the new ones behind me. Um, does anyone out there know what I am going to reveal today? Um, you may possibly know a little bit about it if you are already in the Celtic Knits Club. Because today, our final two patterns for the Celtic Knits Club 23 came out. And I, it was one for me and one from Emer. And these are definitely the two biggest of the patterns that, that have come out. There was an awful lot of work that went in from both of us to get these just right and tweaking with the, uh, the editors and the testers and making sure that they're as straightforward as possible to, for, for everybody to follow. Because of course, when you're doing complex cables, whether they're wraps or whether they're, um, or whether they're actually, um, you know, the cardigan that I've done, both of them, they've got a lot of different things going on and you're trying to get them all fit in so that one flows into the other. So there's a lot to think about. Um, I just see Joy. Uh, nice to see you as well. Uh, and I am looking forward to showing all of the, the knits for the club to all of you today. If there's any details anybody wants to see or something that perhaps you weren't able to see on the actual patterns pages themselves, let me know and I can show, I can show, make sure I show them to you. Carol, you're getting ready to sign up for um, the knitting tour that features me. Excellent. Oh, you'll have a good time. They're always a lot of fun. Um, I actually got next Monday, I'm meeting, um, I'm doing, teaching for one of the Irish tours. Elsa Louise, you love both the patterns. You've knocked it out of the park. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll pass it on to Emer. But if we're also, of course, doing the live on Saturday, the live Zoom, so you can get to talk to Emer in person then, and you can you can tell her all about it. Um, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the patterns and the yarn. Oh, that it's really it's very. I'm really really delighted that all of you are enjoying them so much because. They felt like definitely the biggest ones and the most amount of work that went into it through the entire things with the results that, um, yeah, you're kind of nervous when you're getting ready to release them because it's like, we really like them. I hope everybody else does as well. So very happy that you like them. Anyone who has not seen the club yet, I will share them with you in a minute. And to let you know that while the full club is obviously closed for the year the digital club is still open for everyone and the really cool thing is there's now all five patterns all video workshops for all of those like the cardigan alone has 35 videos in it like the actual amount of videos and help you get with each of those five for the price is fairly extensive i will say <laughs> um and then you will also still be able to join in in the knit up and i've got a yarn substitute um, for you that i'll talk about as well so the yarn in the club was exclusive for the club milled by donny gold yarns and it's called jazz so i'll pull the two ones for this installment were the green which is the barrow which the cardigan was made from and i've got this upside down and this is the blue one um sorry this one is sap green barrow is blue barrow was the name of a river in ireland which is where the name of that came from and sap is fairly self-explanatory um, these yarns milled by donegal and there's 14 percent merino in them or mohair in them and then the other 86 percent is merino there is another donegal yarn let me pull it over here that we have in stock um, and these ones it's studio donegal and it is soft donegal these ones are 100% merino. It's going to be the same weight and almost the same yardage. There's a tiny little bit of difference in yardage just because of the fact that merino obviously has a slightly different weight. But if you are not in the full club and can't get hold of the jazz yet, which autumn there will be some, but for now, this is a beautiful yarn and it will work very well for the pattern. So there's nothing stopping you jumping in if you do want to actually bring in a substitute for those. Um, Liz, um, you have the blue, but the green is gorgeous too. Yeah, both of them are lovely. It's actually hard. I'd be hard pressed to pick my uh, my option between the two. And the thing is that 
I actually think that both of them work for both patterns, that it doesn't really matter which you ended up going for. I think they're both just really rich colors that work very, very nicely for both. Um, we've got somebody else who loves this year Celtic Knit Club's patterns in yarn. Fantastic. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying having um, both myself, Laura and Emer working on the club because the three of us together, I actually find there's a really nice synergy and because I'm not doing all of the patterns, it means that the patterns I do, I can give a lot more time and tension and thought to because of the fact that I've got, I'm not doing all the, the whole five going through. So it's definitely, and also Emer's, when I show you Emer's, Emer has got a slightly different style pattern. She's just, um, they're, they tend to be very intricate cables, but yet they're put together so that they make logical sense and they're just, they're a pleasure to knit because I work through all of the workshops so I'm knitting through the whole thing and they are really really nice to knit through so if you do want to jump in as we're going through just on on the website on the stone stitches website on the home page in the top you see Celtic Knits Club 2023 digital club that will get you all the patterns and it will also get you the uh, workshops and access to knit hub with for um, for the whole for the whole thing so without any further ado, I'm going to jump in and share the Livia wrap with you, which is, I'm going to stand back a bit here actually so that you can see it. This is designed by Emer Early. Um, I will, and she's going to move out of the way back here. Um, it's designed by Emer Early and it's a parallelogram shaped wrap. So what that means is it starts in a point, increases down to here, and then you work, I'll open this up, the length of the wrap you want and it decreases down the other side. So it's literally a parallelogram shape. The, if I hold it open here, you can probably see the cables. The, the theme for this year's Celtic Knits Club is um, Awan Agus Talov, which is the land and the sea. And we actually, like we didn't coordinate with this, but we basically have got one of us very much took the, the river theme and I've, which this one here and the other one I think you'll see when I show you the cable in the back is I think very much feels like trees and the land and the green kind of leans into that and the colors but like even just look at the meandering rivers down here it's fantastic and I think this is just a gorgeous cable here so like the whole thing in this if you're new to cables um, when you get the club you might start with some of the earlier patterns so that you can start and work up um, a little bit more oh excuse me um, and this one the whole thing is charted and written out and it starts at a point <coughs> excuse me I've had a tickle in my throat for a couple of days so <coughs> it doesn't like me talking um, but you can see the little twisted River is going up the side here with this really pretty cable. There's all of the different charts increasing. The central chart in the middle and our decreased charts all the way down here. Make sure I'm not missing any. Oh, we're good. <coughs> so that is the Livia wrap. And I'm actually going to put this on now because I know that whenever I have a cardigan, somebody would usually ask me to try it on. So I will put this on and I'll talk through the sizing and some of the other little bits and pieces on it. So I'm going to open up all of our buttons here. So this is the Oskol cardigan. Oskol means open. And so that was because if you take a look at the cable on the back of the cardigan, it's an open, an open work cable, which I think really feels like intertwined vines or tree leaves and branches and things like that. I give lots of different tips in all of the videos about how you can cable without a cable needle or with a cable needle, I show both. Um, how you can make sure you don't get flare out at the top of cables, how to join things seamlessly. And we will also, in the discussion, we can talk through sizing if people want help with sizing. So this one is designed to be an oversized cardigan. Um, so it's super comfy. Is the, I mean, that is, it's designed to be kind of a wear everywhere cardigan is the best way to put it. You can see here, it's got a drop shoulder. So it comes out here and the stitches are picked up down here. These cables here are actually two sides of the back cable. So this one has got a little bit, about five inches of positive ease, I think on the, it's the second size. And you'll see what I did as well is I've done underarm gussets here. So you've got increases 
in the middle of your cable so that when you come up here you've got a wider sleeve along here reason i did that is i wanted this to be an over cardigan if in the in the winter time or when it's cool so if you've got perhaps another cotton sweater or something lighter underneath you can throw this on and you're not going to get caught in the upper arms it does come down to a nice snug fit down here so it doesn't it won't slide over your hands or anything like that it's just the upper arm is designed to have plenty of room because I do find for winter cardigans that makes them a lot more versatile to be to be worn because it's not designed to be a very very fitted cardigan it's kind of a bit more of a kind of a slouchy comfy oversized one is really the the idea behind it all of the front band it's a v-neck here so you can see when you're doing a v-neck top button hole comes at the very top of that straight section um, I don't have, I just have the collar just work flat like this. There's no short rows, but this is actually ideally suited to doing a short row collar if you like that as well, where you can do a shawl collar by just starting at the back of the neck, work some German short rows back and forth, and you'll create um, a shawl collar as well. It's actually astonishingly easy to add on if that's something that you like to do. Um, I kept this simpler, just left this open because I think that um, particularly if you've got something else under, underneath that is I think more than sufficient um, and anybody who is thinking about joining make sure you jump in early because that way in the zoom on Saturday morning we can actually or on Saturday morning US time afternoon here um, I can talk through a few little possible modifications taking a look at how you could change the neck size and kind of give a little description of how you go about doing those uh, German short rows uh, for the neck if, if that was what you wanted to do. Um, but you get the opportunity to ask me or Emer anything you want about all of the different um, about all the different patterns. Carol, you got the light blue, blue yarn for the Cordica Hardigan. Can you order the green for Emer's shawl? Uh, how many skeins? So the shawl for Emer, it was four skeins of this. Um, and absolutely send on an email if you are a member of the club you can actually just ask for top up of the yarn because that is one of the perks of being in the club is you get to actually have access to the yarn for the duration of it um, before it is open in general because we don't have enough for a general launch yet of the yarn but we do have just a little extra for club members who want to top up or who want to as we discover a lot of people want to do both the wrap and the cardigan but we do have a little extra of those so just go ahead and send us on an email and we'll send you an invoice because it's not up it's not up in general so for anybody who's thinking about doing the club in general um, I'm going to show you some of the other patterns because there is five in total the very first ones that came out um, this is the Inishbeel hat so it's a double layered hat here with a big chunky cable on it and there were matching mitts which my favorite type of mitts because it's ribbed so it holds in nice and tight but you can fold the edges down to keep them short or pull them up and just one of those big chunky ones and the back is ribbed so it's these are kind of the type of mitts that are very very easy to wear and in fact I've got a version of these myself that I've been wearing all winter long and the other pattern that I have to share you with you which was in the second installment was this is Laura Perham's pattern and this is the Cape Clear cowl it's an infinite an infinity cowl I should say um, that's designed to be wrapped twice like this and worn around the neck you can also do a shorter version because this is done from side to side you've got um, a provisional cast on across here then you work as many repeats as you want and then you graft the two together so if you're new to grafting in knit and purl again the actual steps shown in the pattern and in the videos make it very straightforward to do you just have to sit down and work your way through each of those so pretty straightforward um, Carol you're saying you can drive with those mitts you totally can because like if it's very cold you can pull the edges down to keep yourself a little bit extra warm but if you need a bit more control and to be able to hold on to the wheel or have a bit more maneuverability or realistically for most of us it's actually kind of being able to <laughs> to work on your phone so you don't have to take your gloves on and off then these work very well but yeah they're some of my favorite mitts and the yarn whether it's this or the soft dunny gall it's going to be very soft very pleasant to wear and very cozy um kind of looking here Liz you've done three pairs of the mitts already I'm impressed I'm impressed 
Now, as you can see, my throat is starting to give out to me. <coughs> <coughs> so, I will probably wind up. <coughs> Good job, there's no one I'm coughing on here. Um, but I'm going to wind up here. I want to thank you all for joining me. Any questions you have, pop them in the comments below. I'm going to be back in two weeks with a very exciting interview and something else that's happening here. So same time, two weeks, 27th of July. I'll see you then.